Hey guys, Malcolm here with Survival Know How. We've all heard the saying before that knowledge is power, but nowhere is that more true than in a survival situation. Knowing what to do, how to do it, and when to do it can be the difference between life and death. That is why today I'm going to be talking about what my three favorite survival books are. Stay tuned. jump right in guys my number three pick is by an author that many of you are probably familiar with and that is Dave Canterbury. Dave Canterbury was on the first two seasons of Dual Survival and he is accredited with coming up the concept of the five C's. So if you're not familiar with that there are five essential items that are very helpful to have uh, in a survival situation and are hard to reproduce out in the wild. So that is, uh, let's see if I got them, cutting tool, cordage, combustion, uh, container for water, and cover. So that is the five C's, and he came up with that concept, and he did so in his book, Bushcraft 101. So I am a big fan of this book. I thoroughly enjoyed it. What I like most about this book is it's the kind that you can literally read from cover to cover, all right? And if you do that, you'll have a a very basic understanding of a lot of complicated uh, areas in regards to survival, okay? So in regards to uh, creating your camp, catching food, um, building shelter, creating fire, creating cordage, uh, you know, this covers all of that. So this book really covers wilderness survival and not urban survival. So most of these tasks are oriented towards uh, camping and being self-sufficient deep into the wilderness, all right? Most things in here you can do with uh, some rope and a, a good ax or a good knife, and you can accomplish most of the things that he talks about in this book. Um, if you're new to bushcraft, get this book. Um, it'll give you a basic understanding of many different aspects and area of bushcraft. Um, I highly recommend it. Now, it does have some downfalls, and that is that there are not a whole lot of pictures. Every now and then you'll get one or two basic drawings here, but there, there's not a whole lot of diagrams or explanations. I like diagrams, especially with some of the more complicated projects in here, like uh, you know creating like a deadfall or snares or different um, shelter types. Uh, sometimes they'll explain an entire project and not have a single picture to go along with it and you kind of have to look it up on the internet or try to use your imagination, which is not always easy. So that is why this is not my number one book. Um, this is my number three book. But yeah, uh, if you haven't read this book, I highly recommend it. He also, just this year, came out with Bushcraft Advanced. I have not read it yet, but uh, I plan on getting it. So go check this out. Go check out his advanced book. Let me know how it is. Um, so yeah, this is my number three book. It's Bushcraft 101 by Dave Canterbury. Uh, he also has a YouTube page. So I will have a link to this book and to his YouTube page down in the description if you want to find out more about it. I'm moving along to my number two book. It is this little book. Uh, I don't even know who the author is. I didn't have it on there, but The Survival Handbook, Essential Skills for Outdoor Adventures. So while Dave's book really focused on wilderness survival, this focuses on wilderness and urban survival, which I really like. And while his book had a lot of words, had a lot of content, but didn't have a lot of diagrams and pictures, this book is just full, full of pictures, okay? Everything is explained in a series of pictures uh, or illustrations, and they are all very, very easy to follow along. Um, this book covers a wide variety of survival situations. You know, here's how to uh, use a beacon uh, in case of a plane crash or a, a boat capsize. Has a lot of first aid tips in here, a lot of shelter, a lot of survival hacks, um, a lot of repurposing different items. Uh, this is just like a freaking encyclopedia of uh, great knowledge, okay? Everything you need to know. It covers uh, deserts, it covers coastal uh, living, covers snow living, um, right? You got your shelter building. 
So, right, Dave might explain this exact same um, shelter here, but, you know, he didn't have any pictures, whereas they have four different pictures for this one shelter to explain how it's built. Uh, five didn't include that one. This is just a freaking encyclopedia of survival information, okay? Um, this stuff is, is great to know. Like I said, this is a great book to read from cover to cover. This is more of a book that you kind of skim through. Maybe you'll pick a project in here, you go out, you practice it in the woods. Maybe you kind of watch this while you're watching Dual Survivor, while you're watching uh, Bear Grylls or something. But this has this, uh, a tremendous amount of information. It's not just wilderness survival, but also urban survival. Um, and the color pictures and the drawings are fantastic, and it makes it very easy to understand a lot of these concepts. So yes, uh, I am a big fan of this book. Um, the Survival Handbook. So again, guys, I'll have a link down in the description to this book. Um, I highly recommend you guys go out and check this book out. Let's see how thick it is. All right, so that's my number two pick. All right, so my number one pick is a book that I am sure all of you have heard of at one point or another, and that is the SAS Survival Guide. I know for a fact you've all heard of this book. Um, this is a great book. Now, I don't recommend just the SAS Survival Guide. I recommend the SAS Survival Guide Pocket Edition. Okay, you see how small this is? You see how small that writing is? Um, so again, this is similar to this book in that it covers a huge variety of subjects. It covers um, huge difference in terrains from the deserts to the uh, coastal to snow, you know, all these different weather situations. But uh, this book has first aid in it, has shelters in it, has traps in it. It has uh, urban survival as well, you know, a lot of repurposing of items. Uh, has a lot of sections in here just demonstrating poisonous plants and edible plants. Um, there's some sections just identifying poisonous snakes, for example. All this comes in handy. But why this is my number one pick is because it is the pocket edition. Okay, you can throw this in the glove compartment of your car, throw this in your bug out bag, throw this in your camping bag. Okay, uh, carrying it around this big thing to go camping it's really not that practical. It's actually a pretty heavy book. Let's be honest, this book is probably going to stay inside your house. This book is small enough that you can bring this with you out into the field, at the bonfire. You know, you can kind of skim through this, read a few things, try a few of these projects. You can practice. If you ever are camping and you get lost, bam, you've got all of this knowledge right there with you. Okay? I love that idea. Now, a lot of people... Um, I had this as my number one forgotten bug out bag item in my video, top 10 forgotten bug out bags. A lot of people gave me flack about that. But I tell you what guys, if you are in a survival situation, you're dehydrated, you're starving, you're probably sleep deprived and you're stressed, you know, you're not going to remember everything in this book, right? You're not gonna remember um, the five C's of survivability. Uh, and under those conditions, it's just hard to think and function, okay? That's why it's so important to have a backup, have this information with you when you're out in the wilderness. So that is why the SAS Survival Guide Pocket Edition is my number one choice for my favorite survival book. So guys, I will have links to all these books down in the description if you want to go find out more about them or go buy them. Uh, I recommend buying all three of them. Honestly, they all bring something different to the table. So guys, that's what my three favorite survival books are, but I wanna know what your favorite survival books are. So let me know down in the comment section below. Just tell me you know, what your favorite survival related book is. If you guys are new to my channel, hit that big red subscription button down below. I upload a lot of videos about survival and prepping. 